it's dark out, but it's actually not nighttime. We're about to go shoot a sunrise with the squad in a bando, get a crazy view of the city. Come join us. Let's get it. We're about to play a game called Raise your hand if you have trouble waking up for sunrise. Oh, people aren't waking up. Sunrise is tough because it's early for me, but and I don't sleep till super late because I'm always up making something. But it's worth it. Been working nonstop on that short film, so I figured I'd start the vlog with something like this. Just like an epic, beautiful moment. Hopefully, we'll see how the actual sunrise looks. Also, as a shooter, sorry I'm having trouble composing thoughts. It is that early and I am fresh out of bed again. But as a shooter, sunrise is very dope because it puts the city or the sun on the opposite side of a city than the sunset does. So your possibilities from shots in different locations open up. And there's just something about the different colors of sunrise that's doper. Yo, I can't front. Those birds in the morning like that are probably the most epic sound ever. Like, sometimes it's cooler almost when you stay up till sunrise and you start hearing them, but whatever. <laughs> I started the vlog at sunrise, but this reminds me of training day. Yeah, I feel like it happens in that movie in a long time. Yeah, he picks them up, they go to the hood. What has Denzel Washington in it, right? Yeah. Can I be Denzel? Oh, I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> to protect the wolves. Or what is it? What's the words? <laughs> to protect the sheep, you gotta become a wolf. <laughs> Dude, that's my movie. I like my record speaks for itself. Is that not justice? That's street justice. What's wrong with street justice? No, just let the animals wipe themselves out. God right? will. Fuck them. Everybody who looks like them. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. The good guys, they die first, right? To protect the sheep, you gotta catch the wolf. And it takes a wolf to catch a wolf, you understand? I said you protect the sheep by killing the motherfucking wolves. No, you didn't hear me. You listening, but you didn't hear me. The wolf does. You a wolf? If that looks spooky to you, it's probably because it is. Come on, wolf. Oh, come on, dog. Oh. It's like a, probably like what would you say, 500 stairs? I don't even know, it's a lot of stairs. It's a whole lot of stairs. Can't breathe. We're almost there. Worth it for the view. Looks sick. Hey, this one, it did give up. Perfect timing. Bro, you need to color correct it.
at this tag. This is one of my favorite tags I see around the city is this kid with this dinosaur suit. Fire. Yo, this thing was feasting on animals. All these baby feathers make me think this was the nest. And there's like tons of bones around it, so they're probably eating everything around this. Like, the one that was attacking people, bringing back the food to the family. I don't know, I'm no animal expert. It's sunrise, fool. Apparently this falcon smokes cigarettes. And drinks hug juices. I'm probably being a weirdo. I just really wanted a pet falcon really bad when I was a kid, so I wanted to find its skull for you guys or something that's cool. That was its wing, obviously. That was pretty cool in itself just to see how it looks functionally. Probably weird, but when you design a lot, Stuff like that interests you, the skeletal structure, anything. It's just cool to see how things work. Alright, so I might have lost my friends in the bando. I didn't find the falcon skull, so that's cool. Maybe he lived. I don't know. Either way, he was probably protecting a nest. I think my friends found the nest before. I really don't remember. So, whatever. Hopefully that thing's flying around, terrorizing people somewhere, because that's such a sick animal. A peregrine falcon, that's crazy. I actually met some ladies at the DNR, or whatever they were shooting a falcon outside of old main and i told them about the ones up here and they seemed very excited because i guess they just reintroduced them in recent years into the population in detroit fact check me because people will be talking and i'll just be getting some of it and i'll be like cool cool i like that so i could be a little off but some of that information is correct and the only other thing i want to know can animals die of asbestos if they live in a bando good question This is gonna be so creepy alone. For real.
who you are. <laughs> I heard something. I feel like it's not gonna even come close to anything. What cons report? Failure. All right, so obviously I touched on that building before. If you follow my other series, Journey to a Detroit film, and the Falcon attack actually happened back then. But the episode I was doing with the Fisher Halfpipe, the subject matter was far too serious for that to fit in. So I just held on to it and over time, other people I knew got attacked by the Falcon. One girl ended up getting stitches, it was pretty crazy. So I wanted to put that out eventually and I thought the sunset or sunrise footage was absolutely beautiful, like compelling footage, the way it's color corrected and everything. I think that's a moment. I really think these vlogs, not to be arrogant, but they're turning into like a creative gift to be honest. It's my relief every week to make something quick and put it out quick. Like you saw when Eric opened the door and I brought up training day, instantly that's where that idea came from for that whole intro concept with the movie scenes and the message. So I pretty much with the vlogs get to think of an idea really fast, make it, and since I don't have to refine it as much as everything else, like my higher level creations, I can do more. It's fun. It's hard to record here because these people keep coming in and bothering me. But this is my home. Buy some lookup season stuff. Buy some transition stuff. Hey, you'll know about him here in a couple months. He's part of the short film I've been working on. It's literally, I know I keep talking about it, but it is the most incredible thing ever. It's only like gonna be like six or seven minutes, but it's literally amazing. I can't wait to show you. Can't wait to get more ideas out. Subscribe and comment and share. I'm sick of like, not sick of, I appreciate everything. But stop telling me about how you think my vlogs need more views if you don't share or like or comment. I don't care. You know what I mean? But I appreciate it. No, I'm just playing. I appreciate everyone. For real. Thank you for spending your time, which is very valuable, watching me. For real. How do you kill a shooting? I have to know.